On today's Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast, we talk about the benefits of mods. We are determined to know what the apes want, war or peace. They are the good humans, they are the good And if it is man's destiny one day to be dominated, then oh please God, let him be dominated by such as you. Welcome to Minute of the Apes, the daily podcast, where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Ape movies, one minute at a time, and we toss ideas out to you, those that don't play the game, Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, that you're probably going, what, what did he that? just say? But, uh, you know, we, we joke it on, we, our, we, on our true in-between moments, and it's like the three of us just go into talking about this game that is almost an obsession. We, we get so close to starting the podcast, and then we get derailed talking about Galaxy of Heroes. I can't. I got to put it down. I, I know. I can't playing. play the game while we're talking about <laughs> play, play, play the minute. Let's talk about the minute. I'm ready to go. All right. Okay. So. We got minute 14. Sean, yep. tell us what's going on. All right. We start minute 14 with Armando apologizing for his behavior and ends up with Milo asking to go back to the circus. Despite the fact that Sean does talk about dialogue, this is a rather heavy minute without dialogue. So you will hear a lot of chaos running type things that don't don't give up. Yeah, there's it not comes a lot back. Of audio. Anyway, let's take a listen. Minute 14, like Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. mistaken. I admit my behavior was inexcusable, and I am deeply sorry, but I... I think we better take him over to headquarters You're for right. interrogation. Forgive me. Oh, no, no. You only said out loud what I was thinking. I'm sorry. I was so angry. I might have bluffed it through if you hadn't run away. Now the suspect of understanding all that was said. Amando, let's go back to the circus. All right, as of minute 14, we have a courtyard's worth of gorillas, chimpanzees, and at least one orangutan. We got Milo slash Caesar and a planet's worth of humans. So I want to start by saying that there are a lot of things I like in this moment. I like, I like the idea that chaos ensues that allows them to escape. Again, if it were the escalation of the people losing their shit over Caesar, it would make a lot more sense. Mm-hmm. So, but, but, I, but in the coming minute, all this works because the, the running scene, neat location, but it comes back to the problem that it makes no sense. So the crowd points out that he did talk. And... We have to have the sedated ape react to pull the police officers away from the moment. Yeah, because I was wondering, is he really sedated or not? Because he, he gets up and moves yeah. around. So to our to to reference yesterday, I really would have liked to have seen the crowd single out Caesar and push Caesar to flee. Right. By saying, no, he talked, he talked, he talked. And as he's running, then Aldo react to pull the police officers away for two seconds, allowing Armando to also flee. It would give the tension a lot more in terms of the coming minutes with what Aldo and, and <coughs> Caesar are going right. to, or Armando and Caesar are going to talk about if we'd had that kind of like Caesar's fling because he's singled out as a talking ape. And Armando has got to do something about it now. And the, the cover of, of the Aldo Ape reacting would have given, give, sorry, given cover for Armando to flee as well. Yeah, and, and I think that's one of the things that for me that as this becomes a fleeing scene, there's no thrust for tension. 
he once he escapes, the threat is gone. Yeah. Yet, well, the, this minute and the coming minute need the implication that the threat is very real. That something's bearing down on them, and it's gone. Well, the the reason there's no threat is because we have two things going on. We've got a very fickle crowd that mm-hmm. one minute wants to lynch um, uh, Armando, and then the next minute, once Otto's getting beaten on, boom, their attention hey, is right over there. Woo! They don't, and they've just forgotten about it's Armando. Al- at that almost point. like idiocracy to the point where they simply cannot focus on anything more than what's being. And given. then to what you were talking about yesterday with the guards, I expected those two guards to go. Now, what do you think happened to that other guy? Were you watching him? Me? I thought you were supposed to watch him. Oh Why God. I oughta? They just became the uh, stupid robots from the prequel trilogy. Oh yeah, basically. Roger, Roger. Roger. Uh huh. I thought you were watching him. I mean, we've lost we've lost all the 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 potential tension with the labor crowd reacting to mm-hmm. what's going right. on, and the setup with that <laughs> to just an ape that's getting the shit beat out of him because he's reacting fight, to something. Fight, fight, fight. Yeah. Which, but, I, which I'd I have be no kind reason, of... I have no reason why he's reacting outside of the... He, he's being provoked. Yeah. That, it would be kind of cool that if that ape were aware that maybe that ape's the one looking at Caesar Saw like him you and spoke. And helped him distract. And it's almost distracting. Correct. That would be fun. Yeah. Now, here's why, and or, I do have to... <clears throat> go ahead. Or, the ape is scared because he saw him talk, and so Could he be. he backs up into and in, into one of the guards, and the guard takes that as a sign right. of aggression and starts a beating. So I have to jump ahead and just to tomorrow's moment to this point. There's a scene that will happen tomorrow that is sort of like to me everything that's wrong with this. This scene doesn't work because of it. And what what I mean by that is that they're they've run away. We've had the things that distract. There is no presence of anyone having gone to look for them. Mm -hmm. You need that feeling like they hear the boots of people. That's all you'd have to have, the implication that something's coming. You could hear things over our radio. You could hear the guy over the announcer speaker. We think they're in this sector. Then they would duck into that doorway for safety. Then whenever what's said tomorrow is said, it would make sense of why it has to happen. But without that... Why are they both just going into the hallway and leaving? So this is 19... Why, well, uh, who, who knows who they are? Why would they be identified? It, like, there's, yes. no, there's nothing about who they are. That's exactly what I mean. We're in a just giant leave. city with a lot of people just disappear. Yeah. Just nobody knows who you are. But if you have... Change a, your costumes. If you have a threat that, that, that capture is impending, then they need to find a plan. So we're, we're missing that element badly. So this is 1972's version of 1990. So, right. you know, it's 20 years in the future from when they're doing it. Um, obviously, they didn't think – they cell phones, stuff like that is not something in their right, mind right, because right. they don't think of it. But if we did a movie 20 years in the future, we would have security cameras everywhere. There's no way you could just True. back out and hide. You would be monitored everywhere. You'd you have to find that, a new yeah. way to hide. Yeah, they, they do a good job in coming minutes of understanding what the technology was about to be. They, they have a neat little piece of technology that they get right. You wish they could have figured out security cameras. That'd have been cool. Yeah, that having to hide from it, duck from it, anything like that would have helped this scene. And if they had, and it would using... have also played off the sweetness that the scene holds. It would have made it work even better. And with today's technology, if they had done it today, you would have the apes avoiding the cameras by climbing walls, maybe yeah. knocking one down, Armando spotting one. And... Or I'm surprised you didn't say fling and poo. Fling at and it. poo at it. There you go. That's your favorite. Poo. So Caesar reacts to uh, this kind of uh, pushback from the crowd that he he did speak. The police officers are distracted by the ape kind of reacting. Caesar bolts. Mm-hmm. He runs down a parking garage. I mean, that's yeah, really, how convenient. Yeah, I know, but it, but, but it, it's he, a cool looking parking it garage. It is, and, and that's basically what they want. I mean, he said uh, Dane says Caesar enters the tunnel. They're both winded. Uh, the tunnel is massively buttressed with bare concrete and sparsely illuminated. Faint street sounds can be heard above the air vents. Armando glances fearfully over his shoulder. But they found actually kind of a, a, a modern parking garage structure because it looks like any parking garage now. This is very yeah. much a 1991 uh, 2019 parking garage with just that sterile feel to mm-hmm. it. Uh, and I love the way that it's shot, that there is no key light on Caesar. It is all backlight coming through that structure, right. and it really has a doomish feel about so it. So he runs. Armando realizes that he's running at some point and chases after him. They're both out of breath. You can kind of hear all this. And then they kind of come to a stop where Caesar is now asking Armando for forgiveness, you know, like I, and Armando says, you only said what I was thinking aloud. And I thought this is just 
very kind. Armando is... He's loving. Mm-hmm. He's loving. You only said what I was saying out loud. Well, I, 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 so I put it here. And uh, I might have been able to bluff through it if you hadn't run. Right. And I put here, they're, they're going to kiss, aren't they? They're gonna... <laughs> now, look. We, we live in a world where the Shape of Water won an Academy Award, and we can accept... They, they could kiss, no, right? No, 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 because we don't have weird amphibian men on here. We do have apes, and people would go, what? You cannot have them loving each other. So so, so they, they come into the shot, and Ar- Ar- Armando is actually holding Caesar by both arms on the outside. He's mm-hmm. got his arms around his shoulders. And Caesar is kind of up under, gripping onto his sleeves like he's terrified. And I'm like, this is – you mentioned this. Like, okay, this is Academy Award nomination right now. I mean this is what's happening between the two. This is the a two, scene that they show. This is what's happening between the two actors. The only thing I didn't like is I couldn't tell how the mic was being picked up by Caesar. And I couldn't tell if this was added in later on or where the mic was or if it, he was getting the audio off of Armando's mic because uh, Caesar's audio is just a little off. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but he is out of breath. And it's just – man, it's just – we're we're getting to the uh, Armando pleads like a child. Let's go back to the circus, and I'm like, can we go back to the circus? Because I don't like where this is going. Yeah. Well, that would be a different movie if all of a sudden he just goes back to the circus. The end. Bye. Twenty I, minutes and done, and or fifteen. All there's, that, there's no light on them at all. I mean, no, there's but no, I like that. Yeah, I, no, I agree. I, all of that goes to why I say that Armando, being a very loving, caring father figure, rings a little hollow because there's no threat. Because these – in these types of movies, a threat makes the love deeper. It says that your love is in danger, that you have to take care of each other, and we don't have that. And in, so in that moment, all I could think was kind of what you said, Richard. Why don't they just leave? Why don't they just go? No one's obviously seen them. We've not seen one following them. Who they are. And again, yeah, and again, they're, we don't – They can go. Besides pull- handing out flyers for a circus, we don't know why they're there. Why are they coming in in a helicopter to – promote a circus that people think circuses don't exist anymore what's funny is that if you had it if you had this movie today and you're trying to jump ahead like that and you don't want to go with blade runner where they have flying cars Mm -hmm. it was almost like they might have come off a bus a bus would be more the utilitarian kind of you know yeah just getting it done getting it there but again it does yeah something like that but but a helicopter says i have the money for this transportation not this futuristic and Okay, fine. You came in the helicopter. You ca- okay? I'll save it for tomorrow. There's something he says <laughs> that even tomorrow I was like, "Oh my god, just leave." Anyway, but I like the moment. Please don't hear anything other than that. I just wish it had that. There's an impending threat. Coming. There's, there's not because, as far as we know, they've escaped. Nobody knows who they are. Right. Nobody's paying attention. They've got mm-hmm. the distraction. I don't know why the police officers would care. I, again, you mentioned that you, you thought it was plausible. I don't understand why they care about a talking ape at this moment or why it needed to be more pronounced in order for me to understand why it was as scary as it was to these people. I think that, again, I think that with what they've said about no assembly, you put that in and then what's going to be defined in coming minutes. I think it works okay for me. That one, that one still doesn't bother me, but I do get, we each find those things where it's like, I don't understand that. So that's it for me. I ain't got nothing more. I'm ready for Friday. You know, I can't decide if you look hip and young or if you look like a – with the An old man with yeah, my cardigan your on. Your cardigan. He came out to greet me this morning. I looked at him and I was like – got my sweats on and my, my slippers. It, it's like knowing you long enough that we've transpired from being younger guys. Now we mm-hmm. both have gray in our beers to wearing cardigans outside. Yeah. But who gives a shit, right? Not me. Yeah, that's the end of Fashion Minute on <laughs> Minute of the Apes. We'll be back tomorrow, Minute 15, and send you guys off for a nice weekend. So, everyone have a great day. Bye. Bye, everybody. The Minute of the Apes.